take time and as we go through these verses, you're going to see and you're going to notice that God made a big to-do about making sure that the people knew that he was there and that he was taking them where he wanted to go. I mean, he wouldn't even relax. He would put the cloud there by day and the pillar of fire by night over the tabernacle. And they all they had to do in essence, in essence was just to look up and see that, the, well, there, he's there, he's there. Hmm? But the latter passages that we get to will show us that now he leads us by his spirit in us. The final introduction statement for this part of the message said, being led then by his spirit in us is a major key for having God's grace show us how to live in the blessing day by day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, because you, you see, I've set this challenge out, as it were, by Holy Spirit, that in order for us to see, as it were, success and to have this year be the best year of our lives today, we're going to have to handle this situation. How? Day by day. And in order to eat an elephant, you, which you can, what do you need to do? How do you eat an elephant? One burger at a time. Mm? Elephants look big, and they are, and... And, and so much, but you can get her done. Hmm? Well, this year, promises for us. To, I mean, prophets of God, people of God, big people of God, little people of God. And I even hope inside of your own self, there is, a, there is an unction, there's, a, there's an encouragement, there's an expectation in you that you will be able to embrace the manifestation of the grace of God in this year. Hallelujah. Amen. I mean, we've had some good years and we've had some bad years and, and uh, uh, many of us have been walking with God uh, for, for decades of our lives. But hey, 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 this year, unlike any other year, will be the most blessed year that you've had to date. Now, I need some amen on that. I need, I need, I need you to just have a sense of, okay, that, yes, this year. Now, you know, we've chunked out several days of this year already. A whole lot of seconds have gone by. Some weeks have passed by. And maybe there have been some slap upside the head early up in here and all of that. But nonetheless, you hold on to your determination to walk this year out day by day by day. And you will see beyond anything that you can imagine the blessing of the grace of God unfold in your life. All right, so here we have our, in the main text section, here we have our first highlight point, God on the job. Yes, he is. Now, again, I'm sorry, I don't have this verse up here. It just came to me a little while ago. There's a verse I need you to write this one down. Psalm number 121, stanza four. Psalm Number 121, stanza four. Let me see if I had it up here real quick. Um, here we go. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. So say out loud, God is on the job. <laughs> now get real personal. God is on the job about my life. Come on. He's, listen, 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 listen. He is handling some things for you. I mean, like right now. Now, the things, now, now, now watch this. The things might not show up until October, November, but he's handling them like right now. Hmm? Let your mind absorb that. God is on the job. And he does not slumber, neither does he sleep. So in essence, we can say nothing gets by him. Hmm? And, and really, uh, in, in my push to keep us blessing-minded, grace-minded, 
when I say nothing gets by him, I, I don't want you to, to quickly start considering, oh, yeah, there's some trouble. He, it's not getting. No, no, no. There's no blessing that he has in store for you that's getting by. Amen. Huh? Amen. He's on top of every blessing that he has for you. Oh, come on, help me up in here now. I don't have a whole lot of time. Hmm? So say every blessing. Amen. It's like God saying, I got this. Some of you, some of you may need a house. I, I don't know what. You may need better living condition. I, I don't know what. But whatever it is, you just, just listen. Just listen for God to say, I got it. I got it. Well, but you know the cliff and, and the election and oh, and the condition. What God say? I got this. Because this is what I do. I mean, he's a miracle. Don't get me started. I got to finish my lesson. He's a miracle. Working God. Hmm? And he's got the power to do whatever it takes to get your Y-O blessing to you. Mm. Ooh. <sighs> Say out loud or wave to somebody, tell relax. Just relax, relax. God got this. Well, the scripture text from main text is Exodus chapter 13. Uh, here at verse number 21, and we're going to do 22. At verse number 21, you find these words. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud to lead them the way and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light to go by day and night. Say it one more time. God on the job. Come on up. 24-7 doing what God do best. Exodus, I got to read it again. Let it get in you now. Let it get in you. Exodus chapter 13, verse 21. And the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead them the way and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light to go by day and night. That's why over there in the scripture I've been sharing with us about give us day by day our daily bread. God takes care of business every day. Um, Highlight point number two then, that should bring us a sense of blessed assurance. Now, this is this just this one few time, this one little time that I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of have you take a minute. Not, maybe not a minute, take a few seconds to reflect on what do you have to be concerned about anyhow? What, what's been bugging you lately? Uh, is there a little scratch in your crawl? Is there somebody or something that when you either see it or cross your path, or when you think about it, you get the, the, the grumblies, the, er, the early, the early erps in your bed. You know your stomach, early erps. Have you ever had your stomach go early erps? <laughs> when, you, when you're thinking about something, or when, when you see somebody and you remember, and they, listen, listen, if they just, listen, they owed you that money, and if, if they had just given you that money, you wouldn't have had to do what you did. Everybody say out loud, Erby Erbs. Come on. Erby Erbs. Yeah. 
Huh? But based on this scripture, God got that. He's not, his, listen, and this really sounds awkward. His blessings for you are not slipping by. 